Hi, my name is Pascal Corbe. I'm a communications consultant specializing in the area of communications for development. In today's vlog, I would like to speak to all of you who are leaders of small projects that don't have a lot of big communications expertise and budget involved in their project. Why should you get involved in social media? First of all, social media is cheap. It's much cheaper than anything else. Sure, you can combine that with other video tools and so forth, but per se, social media allows you to operate on a very low budget. Social media allows you to actually fine tune your targeting. You can just look for the person with his real name or her real name and look if he or she is out there on that social medium and target them. You can go as far as saying you don't even have to be just on that tool, on that instrument, on that tactic, whatever you want to call it. You can actually look what they're doing out there and actually fine tune your approach to actually be with them in the same tact, in the same rhythm, on the same subject as they are because being on the same tool per se doesn't mean anything. Thirdly, everybody's talking about that, personal engagement. It actually, social media allows you most instances, even though it's not done many times, to personally engage with that target group. You can reach out to them. You can write personal messages. I mean, not personal in the sense that you get personal, but you can address them directly. You can find ways to actually speak to them and you can actually solve their problems. You can look if they are looking for something particular out there and you can offer that to them. You need to go back and do a little bit of your work, but it's worth, worth it for you to actually do that. Yeah? So you can offer to them if they're actually looking for a particular piece of information. Fourthly, social media are highly adjustable to your varying budgets, changing budgets and needs. So one year you can do this, next year you can do this. There's usually no problem. There's a certain expectation, but it's certainly not an expectation that is um, as disappointing for your target group like a website that all of a sudden is only updated with one article every half a year or a newsletter that doesn't get sent anymore that shrinks to, to nothingness or uh, that you can always just go with the flow if you have to post something you can if you don't you write shorter it's not it's not a big deal fifth reason what is social media actually it's a whole big variety of different tools so you have a big choice to actually go for and there's no big deal to actually pick one or two you shouldn't do too many because you get lost in the process and especially in the beginning and um, if then one of your target group uh, members uh, asks you something on the social media and you don't reply because you're actually on six, seven different tools, that would be too good. But the variety is there. Choose two or three to start with and you can change that, but it's a great variety and you can play different tunes, different models on each one of them. And last but not least, obviously, you don't need to wait for monitoring evaluation reports to actually tell you that something goes wrong because you get constant feedback from your target group. Perfect. On your content and on your approach, on the way that you do things, if you do it right, you get feedback. If you don't get feedback, then that's probably also feedback. Thank you very much.